Hello everyone, I am Sajad and you are watching my YouTube channel Pharma Inform. Today we are going to discuss critical process parameters of fluid bed dryer. You can see in diagram fluid bed dryer. We discussed complete working of FBD, its principle, its components. If you have not watched our video on FBD, the give, link is given in description. First watch complete video regarding FBD working and its components. In this video, we are going to discuss critical process parameters of FBD. Mean what are the critical parameters which should be critically monitored or observed during drying of a product using fluid bed dryer. So let's start one by one. These are first one is inlet air temperature. Second one is outlet air temperature. Third one is product temperature, fourth one is the fan motor speed or blower speed, and last one is LOD or loss on drying. So when we dry our product using FPD, these are the critical parameters which are observed critically. What is the inlet air temperature? Inlet air temperature is basically the temperature of air which is coming from outside through the inlet duct into the plenum. Here we have a sensor which monitors the temperature of inlet air and display it on the HMI. So if we want to product, if we want to dry a product in FBD after addition the product into FBD trolley and it's locking into the drying chamber, we put a value for the drying temperature. Suppose we give usually for the products which are wet using the water as a solvent required high drying temperature and for the products for which we use organic solvents required low temperature for the drying. Suppose if we want to dry our product which is wetted by the water as a solvent usually we use 70 to 80 degree centigrade inlet air temperature. So at this temperature our air come inside the plenum and from plenum it pass through the Dutch oven screen which is what is Dutch oven screen if you are not familiar the link is given in description watch the video after passing Dutch oven screen it come into it come in contact with the product so the inlet air temperature should be critically monitored because if there is any malfunctions in air processing unit or our inlet air temperature sensor the value may be disturbed the next one is the outlet air temperature after passing through the product and drying the product air pass through the filters come into the return duct so when the product sorry so when the air pass through the return duct the temperature in return duct is also monitored this reading is also displayed on the HMI it give us about a it give us an idea about our drying efficiency mean if outlet temperature is as described in the BMR we can easily understand by indicating the or by observing the outlet air temperature that our product drying is going efficiently and in right direction. The next one is the product temperature. Product temperature is basically the temperature of the product inside the product trolley. Here we have a product temperature sensor. This sensor gives us an indication regarding the temperature of the product which is under drying. By validating our batches in the FBD, we conclude a specific product temperature for our each product. This product temperature is also displayed on the HMI. So our pharmacists and operators after observing this product temperature on the HMI can easily estimate 
that our product is dried or not mean a product we have validated that its inlet end temperature 70 to 80 outlet air temperature 60 to 70 and product temperature 45 to 50 these are values for our validation batches so whenever we dry our product by using these parameters we can easily estimate drying completion cycle by observing our product temperature values the next one is the fan motor speed fan motor speed is basically the speed of this blower which results in fluidization the fan motor speed can be controlled easily for the proper fluidization if our product is heavier we can increase fan motor speed to increase air pressure and vice versa the next one is the LOD or low sound drying the completion of drying cycle depend on the low sound drying so from the sample collection port attached with the product trolley we take a sample on specific intervals and perform its LOD on moisture analyzer when it's come into ranges we can easily understand that our product is dried so these are the most critical process parameters for the products which are used in the which are used sorry which are dried by using fluid bed dryer if you like our video share it to others subscribe our channel and share it to others till the next video allah hafiz